bottom left. Hit on plate to just near the top. One o'clock, a couple of inches from the top. Hit center, beautiful. <laughs> center hit. <laughs> Five inches from the bottom. Hit. Five o'clock. Three inches bottom plate. Uh, I didn't see. I'm not sure where that went, to be honest. Well, four out of five. That's one mile. That's pretty good, mate. Well, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you can have some shots, Sam. Okay, mate. Cool. There you go. So, okay. okay. So let's see how we go. You ready? Yep. Just over the top. Nine o'clock, yeah. like two inches off edge of plate. So just able to fairly heavy trigger. So just remember to squeeze. Yeah. Hit. Oh, cool. uh, that was almost dead center. <laughs> awesome. Another go. I don't know if that was. I think it was just right, and the other one was dead center already. I wasn't. Okay. Here we go. Again, so that was at um, three. Uh, sorry, four thirty. Okay. Um, six inches from edge of plate. Hit again. Okay. Six o'clock. I don't know. Getting too many. Hit really again. good shooting. Hit again. At um, not far from centre, but going towards four o'clock. Um, <laughs> yeah. A little bit low. Oh, I've done it. Five. No, hit. That's. Where am I going? I'm out. Yay. That was that was two o'clock, four inches from edge of plate. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> awesome. Well, that went really, really well, Sam. Yeah. G'day, guys. Um, out here today with this little ticker. Um, it's it's not our rifle, as I said before. Been loaned to us by one of the guys in the gun world. Um, it's his personal rifle, um, and he's let us shoot the thing. Um, so we're having that one more one more day to have a little play. And what I wanted to play today with is something I'm doing in the in for my 6.5 Creedmoor as well, the Hauer, is I wanted to test 147 grain ELD Hornadies. Um, 
come it really nicely. I've just done, uh, it's not a properly load developed load. I've just simply taken a little bit of powder, 0.4 of a grain off what I ran between, behind my 140 grains um, and fired them with that. Um, and at that, the burger was running a tiny bit more efficiently. There was one less mill needed for this. Um, and I should range what we're talking about. Got a 24 inch plate out at, and we'll range it properly down at target. I'll just show you the zero here. Um, reset. So we're zeroed here. It's just under a mile, so we'll show you exactly. What we did today is bring out both the the um, 140 grain burgers and the 147 grain ELDs. Um, did a bit of comparison. I did basically worked out what we needed, worked out where it was on that shot, what this shot is, um, and then did a five shot group, or well, an attempt of a five shot group. Um, Wind still changing a little bit, a little bit of variance, but still four hits on plate out of those five shots. Um, I'll have to look at the footage and see what that's actually like. Um, and then we let Sam down behind the rifle. She was shooting 147 grains for what she did down there. Um, shot really nicely, went really well down there. Wind kept a little bit more stable, but it's, um, and as you can hear, there's a machine operating in the background, which is a long way away, so have no fear there. Um, and the flies are a little bit thicker because of where the wind's going this morning. But both shot really well, rifle shoots really well. Um, we'll take you down to target and we'll have a little look and see if there's any difference between the plastic tipped Hornady um, and the conventional um, lead core um, burger. Anyway, we'll see we'll you down to target. target. Um, certainly give that, that 24 inch plate a bit of a hiding out here. <laughs> Um, both those rounds shot really well. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of a look at the, the footage and make sense of things. At the moment the, um, the, the burger was still a little bit nicer um, for what I found here but I'd have to be completely honest and say that I haven't done the development work with the um, Hornady so it, we'll, we'll see where we end up but listen both did really really well. Um, Sand and really nice group over the side here um, I don't know exactly that. I have to look at the footage, but certainly I know there was um, we what I what I finished with was a five shot group. Put fire in the magazine, sent down here fairly rapid fire. Um, they did really nice. I was really happy with it. But four of them went on there. Sam, there's a little collection over here, which were definitely a really nice tight little group on the other side. Um, and to be truthful, I couldn't really call any of it grouping out here when you've got slightly changing conditions and things like that. Um, then conditions. A little bit more left wind can fix a bullet that was going to go a little bit right sort of thing so um, and vice versa you know what should have been tighter ends up bigger uh, because the conditions are pushing it around so but listen shot really well really um, thanks Harlan for letting us use your gun that worked really nicely um, love them they, they are a really nice little gun the Tika I should range while I'm out here to show you what um, the actual distance was here we go, 1723 yards. So about 36 yards short of a mile. So just short of a mile out here. Just a nice little spot we can get to. They're, they're working on spraying properties around here. So we wanted to keep out of that sort of stuff and thought it was a decent distance to take the 6.5 Creedmoor um, in just a factory gun and have a little play out here at some range. Um, but anyway, guys, if you like what we do, um, let us know. Give us a thumbs up. For those people who haven't subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. Um, and anyone that wants to help us out with any support or that sort of stuff, then look at the link below. You can go to our web store where we've got bits and pieces um, in the way of our, our bag bases and our muzzle brakes and things like that. But there is also just for support who people want to help us um, make more of these videos for you. So anyway, guys, thank you very much, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. And thanks, Harlan, for letting us use your rifle. Uh, it was great. We both enjoyed it. So catch you later, guys.